All right, so we're going to talk about dead reckoning. Dead reckoning. We're going to start somewhere. So where do we start? We always start with a known position. How do we figure out that known position? In Coast Guard exam terms, in practice terms, we're going to give you a position. It's either going to be a lat long position, you're going to get it with crossed bearings, radar bearings, somewhere they're going to give you a known position. So for our discussion, we're going to assume that you got lat and long, and when you did your lat and long, you created a position, and it happened to be here on the chart. Okay? They give you a time. What time did this occur? And we always label our position with the time, and we put the time at a little bit of an angle, and we do it in military time. They're going to give you a course. If they give you a course in compass, what do we need to do? Convert it to true. If they give you a true course, we merely draw it on the chart. So, for the sake of discussion, this is our compass rose. And we're going to say that for the sake of discussion, we were given a course of uh, 135 degrees true. Okay? So we go to the compass rose with our parallel rulers, our, our plotters, our Weems plotter, and we take 135 degrees and we roll it, clump, clump it, up to our, our fixed position, and we draw that line. And we draw a line out however long we think we might be going. That course is going to be labeled 135 degrees on the top of the line. Underneath the line, we're going to put our speed. The speed is probably going to be given to you. For the sake of discussion, our speed is 5 knots for this. Okay. And now they're going to say, what would be your DR position at 745? So what is our DR position at 745? So what do we need to do? We need to do a distance, speed, and time problem. So distance, speed, and time. We don't know how far we went. That's our unknown. We know what our speed is. What's our speed? Five knots. What's our time? Our time is 745 minus 7 o'clock, because that's the time we started, which is 45 minutes. And we're going to take that 45 and divide it by 60 to come up with a decimal time. And mathematically, that's going to turn into 0.75, right? Mm -hmm. So we take our speed times time, and we're going to come up with a distance. Take a yeah, calculator, multiply 5 times 0.75. I think you come up with 3.75. Yeah. So 3.75 is our distance. That's how far we reckoned we think we went in 45 minutes. We would get our our dividers off the side of the chart, we'd mark off 3.75 miles. We'd put the pointy end here in, uh, in our fix, and we'd make a mark 3.75 miles away. And the, the symbol for a DR is a line with a half a moon around it. And we put 0, 0.75, uh, 7.45, because that's our time. 7.45. That's our DR. That's where we reckon, we think, we figure we're going to be and in 45 minutes. That's a DR. That's all it is. Okay? Fixed position. Draw the course. Label the course. Label the speed. Do your distance speed time problem. Come up with the distance. Measure it off. Put it on your track line. And that's what your DR is. Okay? Mm-hmm.